What is up guys, how are you all doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. And what do we have here? We have a quick little video where I want to talk about one thing, one thing only. And that is Battlefield Hardline. Yes sir, as you guys know, about a week or two ago, Battlefield Hardline was leaked unintentionally onto the internet. Well, first of all, some information was leaked onto the public domain. And then somebody released a trailer that was supposed to be kept internal. So it was only for the eyes of the employees over at EA. But somebody thought it was a good idea to give it to everybody else as well. Which, you know, I guess as customers and consumers, we are thankful. But I'm pretty sure EA are very pissed off about it. <laughs> so there are a lot of interesting things in this game. Now, this is something I've been waiting for for a very long time. I mean, I love tactical shooters and I believe that this is going to be really tactic oriented. Even though it's quite difficult to say because there's not a lot of tactics going on in Battlefield at the moment. The community that really doesn't help each other out. Squad mates don't know what they're doing. Teammates just running around doing jack shit. Some people like spinning in the corner of the map like COD. It's, it's crazy. So I don't know how much tactics are actually going to be involved. But they created the game with tactics in mind. So if you do want to use it, I think that's going to be very forgiving. And it's going to allow you to do that. So that, that's a very nice feature. But in essence, it's basically police versus bad guys. When I first heard that it was going to be police versus some sort of gang or whatever, I thought it was going to be like GTA 5. And then I heard that you can rob banks. Now that sounds like Payday 2. Now Payday 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. It's, it's a very underrated game. Not a lot of people even knew about it, let alone played it or bought it. And it is one of the most underrated amazing games because it's so intricate and detailed and it, it works flawlessly. And when it first came out, I believe in the beta stage, there was a few problems here and there. But they got fixed instantly, unlike Battlefield 4, which has been going on for like eight months now, the same problems. You know, the developers for Payday 2 have been on top of their game every single day. They're constantly patching the game, constantly making DLC for the game. They're constantly giving out free DLC for the game as well. If they go in that direction, if this game, Battlefield Hardline, works similarly to Payday 2, but like on the Frostbite engine, then I will most definitely buy and support this game. However, if it's going to turn out to be like Battlefield 4, like a huge letdown, where there's going to be netcode issues, rubber banding, connection issues, server issues, and things like that, then I'm not going to play the game. Because there's no point. And why am I saying this is because, you know, we've all lost faith in Battlefield franchise. They release a game that's not finished, even though it is very good now. I, I do have to mention that the game right now it is working so much better than before. But you can't release a game that's bad and then eight months later you fix it. Like, you know, for that eight month period, we were screwed. But anyways, in terms of Battlefield Hardline itself, if they manage to fix those kind of tick rates and the net code and things like that and it, it works well, then I think it's going to be a brilliant game because it's kind of a brand new concept for Battlefield and I, I really want to see what they can do with it. For example, there's a lot of features that I really love that I saw in the trailer. For example, there are things like grappling hooks. So you can throw it onto a ledge or a building or the side of something and you can climb up where you could not get there in other means. So there, there aren't stairs or elevators to go there. So you throw a grappling hook and you climb up and you have some sort of tactical height advantage. There are other things like zip lines. When you're on the rooftop, you can shoot a bolt or like the zip line out from one roof to the other, and you can kind of zip line across buildings, which looks brilliant. Also, there's a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat in the trailer. I don't know if that's just kind of like to make the game look good, or if there's gonna be like a CQC hand-to-hand -hand combat situation as well, because obviously in Battlefield 4, you have the knife sequences and knife animations. Maybe they took it one step further. I, I hope they did. In my opinion, the Battlefield 4 knife fights could have been improved if if you had like a sequence of buttons that you had to press. For example, it would just generate a random selection of buttons or things that you had to press. So you had to press F when the prompt came up and then G and then H and then, I don't know, at and then arrow down and then zero and you know, something random like that. So you had to be very quick about it. And the first person to do it quickly won that knife fight. So if they have something like that in Battlefield Hardline and they kind of give it one step up from the fighting sequences, you know, in terms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, I, I think that would be very, very good. Also, there's a lot of vehicular warfare in this game. Now, obviously Battlefield is known for its vehicles and things like that, so that's brilliant. Uh, I do love vehicles, but they have a really strong sense of infantry and gunfights. And I love that because I really do enjoy playing infantry-only servers on Battlefield, all the Battlefield games. I mean, vehicles are very fun, don't get me wrong. Of course they are. However, infantry-only maps are so much better. I mean, they're just so cool. Just, just, just to see that gunplay and those gunfights and whatnot. I think that if they get the gun balancing right and kind of like the hit detection and hitboxes right, I think that it's going to be very strong in that aspect. But going back to the point about vehicles, there was a lot of type of vehicles in the game, and the passengers are no longer just sheep, just you know, going along for the ride. Unlike how it's been before in Battlefield, where you just sit there and just wait for the driver to take you to your destination, and then you jump out and then you get into the gunfight. It's not going to be like that anymore. Because the trailer showed that people in the back seats, in the passenger seats basically, they could jump out 
of their seat, not out of the car, they're still in the car, but they could like poke their head and like their torso, their upper body out of the car and fire RPGs and guns and stuff. So if you could do that in the real game, that's going to give you so much tactical advantage because you're not going to have like a car driving around that's like bulletproof or maybe even not bulletproof or whatever, or a, a Jeep or a vehicle with a mounted machine gun on top. So you only have one gun firing. If they have this feature in the game, you're going to have four, five, maybe six guns firing from the vehicle at the same time. So again, that goes back to GTA 5 and how that worked because in that game, the passengers could fight back and throw grenades and shoot RPGs and their guns and things like that and they were a benefit to the team. So hopefully they could put that into the game because that would be very very nice. But yeah, the other features that I would really like to see in the game is a lot of guns and a lot of gadgets. Now obviously because this is Battlefield there's going to be a lot of guns, a wide variety of guns and classes so I think that they've nailed that aspect pretty much throughout Battlefield and that's, you know, I have full faith in that aspect. However, I really want to see more gadgets, for example, timed explosives, C4, or sticky grenades, and uh, flashbangs, and sting grenades, you know, that they fire out uh, pellets, because, you know, SWAT and things use that, so uh, I really want to see gadgets that are kind of unique to those two categories, the police and the bad guys, you know, the bank heist guys, or the bank robbers, or whatever, so they would need some sort of timed explosive to get through the safe, or they might need a chainsaw to cut through something else, or gadgets like that, and then the police could come in with flashbangs, or smoke grenades, or CS gas, and things like that, so again, it's very kind of SWAT and tactic oriented, so you could clear out rooms like that, and you can have those little mirrors that you can poke underneath doors, or around corners to see if anyone's there, you know, things like that, I really want to see a lot of gadgets like that, and a lot of tactics involved, because there are a lot of tactical shooters out there, such as Insurgency, that was a brilliant game. However, Insurgency was a realistic tactical game. I want a fun, fast-paced tactical game, which, you know, isn't like a one-shot kill to the head, because that's how it was in Insurgency. One shot to the head with any gun, pretty much, and you're dead. So I would really like to see some sort of crossover between Battlefield and this tactical shooter, but with a fun element to it. I think that this game could potentially tick that box and kind of break into that market, as it were and really lead the way because it could be hugely popular but on the opposite hand a lot of people are skeptical saying that it's way too different from Battlefield way too different from what we know and what we're used to so they're kind of skeptical about it and there's a lot of negativity in that aspect but for me I think that it could potentially be a positive thing I like the idea I like the concept I like the theme of it hopefully if they execute it correctly then the game would be brilliant and I would really love to play it. Also, in the trailer, there was kind of a weapons list or a type of in-game currency that was shown just for a brief second. Again, which brings it back to Payday 2. It was pretty much exactly like Payday 2, where if you wanted a gadget or an attachment or a gun or a mask or something or body armor, you had to buy it. You have to purchase that and then equip it onto your character or maybe that class or whatever. So if they have that in-game, I think that would be brilliant because it would show that you earned what you got on you. It's not just given to you. So you have to kind of successfully rob a bank, get money and then buy equipment and then go to a more sophisticated bank and then rob that and then go higher and higher on the list or whatever or like the hierarchy system. So that could work. And if the police stop that bank robbery, then they get a bonus so they can buy more equipment for themselves as well. So it could work both ways. I would really love to see that. So hopefully this game could take on board some of those features from GTA 5 and Payday 2 and add the battlefield feeling to it and just make it excellent, on, especially considering that it's on the Frostbite engine. This could potentially seriously be one of the most played and best games overall of the last, I don't know, two, three years because pretty much FPS games in the last two, three years, everyone knows it's been pretty shit. So hopefully this can bring it back, and I hope it does, because it has a lot of potential. But we, we said that about Battlefield 4 as well, and it turned out to be garbage. So yeah, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. But that, those are just my opinions. Let me know what you think. Have you seen the trailer? Have you not seen the trailer? Or do you know any of the information about it? Has there been new information released that I haven't talked about or I didn't know or mention? You know, let me know what you think about the game and the video and my points. You can leave the video a like or a dislike, that's perfectly fine. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for tuning in. It's Snipe474. And I'm out. I'll see you on a battle.